Hey everybody, welcome to day two. Uh, today I'm going to try to be le a little less funny. I, I want a thought's been going in my head about uh, heroes. I like to talk about heroes. When I was growing up, my heroes were, well I was a huge wrestling fan as a kid, and kind of still am today, but uh, the, those guys were my heroes like Hulk Hogan and Macho Man, rest in peace, he died today. Um, just, but uh, more on a level of like people I really extremely looked up to were the fat funny guys. People like John Belushi and Sam Kinison, and yeah I was watching his comedy when I was a kid. Is that bad parenting or good parenting? I don't know. You decide. Uh, John Candy and especially Chris Farley. Chris Farley was one of the reasons why I watched SNL for the most part. Uh, fat, funny guys. I think it's because I can relate to them more because I, I was always fat. Always fat. And when fat guys made people laugh, I wanted a part of that. And I think that's why I like to make people laugh. Sometimes I go a little overboard and it's not funny. And, uh, I apologize to those who I've ever offended to for my stupid jokes. I were offended for my jokes. But, uh, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever been a hero to anybody. And it kind of saddens me. I wish, uh, I wish I could say I did something in my life that was hero worthy somebody look up to me for doing so and I don't know I, I don't know if I'm just missing that part that emotion to know what that's like or I'm just wanting something that's maybe out of my grasp <clears throat> pardon me people tend everybody tends to want something that's out of their grasp but uh maybe this is just my case but you know with the boys they have a father, which is which is cool because I'm glad they have good relationships with both their parents, which is perfect. You can't ask for anything more. Um, but as far as their heroes go, it's like Harry's is like sports figures, you know, major league soccer players and baseball players and football players. And uh, Zachary loves like you know fictional characters, so to speak, like Frodo and Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Doctor Who. He's into all that, and, and and that's cool. You know, they have them to be their childhood heroes. They can look back fondly when they're my age and say, hey, look, those guys were important to me. Just like I look back and see John Candy, John Belushi, Chris Farley as being major heroes in my life. But I think I personally would like to accomplish something in my life that somebody, even if it's just one person for one minute, goes, man... I wish I was you. Thank you for showing me that something good is possible in this world. And, and after all, I just want to be a good person. You know, sometimes, you know, my words stray me from that goal. But uh, I, I just want to be a good person that people, you know, when I'm dead and gone and they start saying good things about me, I want them to mean it. I don't want them to say it just because I'm gone, you know. I want them to uh, to say, "Hey, look, Marv was a great guy, and he will truly be missed." You now, away from the sadness, I'm gonna try, maybe, hopefully, with due diligence, finish this journey of mine. This. 365 days, which is like 366. Now I think about it, because 2012 has an extra day. But uh, maybe if I finish it and be like, look, man, this this guy committed to something for a year, a year, and he did it. Good for you, man. Good for you. I don't know. Maybe I'm grasping at at dreams here, but I don't know. We'll see. See you tomorrow.